Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for August 6th through the 12th. This is the sun, for the sign of um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind this reading may not be for you. It may or may not be. Just take what's right and leave what's wrong. Okay. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And you know, somebody may be a little stiff. You notice a big, a big, like about this many cards didn't shuffle. It just it stayed like this and went down. So, you know, somebody may be feeling a little rigid, a little stiff, okay? So that's why playful, playfulness is needed. Maybe you need to, I'm starting to get the goosebumps, so that's a, that's a positive message. That's a true message when I start to get chills and goosebumps. Um, somebody needs to lighten up. Lighten up. Liberation, freedom. Let go of the past. Master your emotions. Get back in your own element. Yeah. Get out there and be playful. Allow your heart to <coughs> open. Open your heart. This is a card of focus, concentration, integrity. A new, a new offer, perhaps. Somebody could be giving you an offer. Or you may be making an offer. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That could be your energy. And then Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Pisces, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So Cancer, it appears that you need to get out of your head. And that's where the playfulness comes in. Somebody is trapped in their, in their mind. Swords are thoughts, negative thoughts. It's time to regain your focus and let those negative thoughts go. Just go out and have some fun. Go out and have some fun, Cancer. Let the negative thoughts fade. You know, just, just do it. I know it's easier said than done. I feel like right now, today, or <laughs> this week, whenever it resonates with you, it's like letting go of confusion with the moon mirroring this card. Letting go of the confusion. Letting go of the worry. Letting go of the fear. I think there's something from your past, a memory from the past that is causing a lot of mental turmoil for you. Could involve an earth sign. But, you know, it, it, it's time for you to allow your, your thoughts to change, you know, because this is turning silver to gold, turning negative to positive. Whatever negative comes into your head, replace it with a positive. Just, just try it, okay? This is about regaining control, taking back control of your life, taking the lead. You could have also been dealing with an Aries, or you are still de dealing with an Aries. This is, but this is about regaining structure. And this is negative thoughts. This is, this is pessimism. This is pessimis pessimism. So this truly is a great message for you. You need to let go of those pessimistic thoughts of... You know, everybody's going to hurt you. Everybody's going to break your heart. Everybody, you know, just because somebody in the past has done you wrong, don't let it, don't let it cloud your thoughts. Don't let it hold you back. Don't, you have to step outside of your comfort zone and, and allow yourself to love and be loved again. So there could be a new offer coming in, okay, with that page of pentacles, something that could lead to something solid. It could, but you're going to have to, to open up 
you know, master your emotions, allow your your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, please. This this is this Ten of Swords, it's the end of a difficult time, the Ten of Swords reverse. It's the end of difficulty. It's the end of holding on to this past rejection, perhaps. Let it go. Let it go. I feel as though there's an opportunity for something really solid and stable, you know, if you can step outside of your comfort zone. So whoever this person is from the past that it has caused this these negative thoughts in your head, they weren't well suited for you anyway. Okay, this is somebody that wasn't well suited. Could be a fire sign, okay? So just keep in mind that this person wasn't well suited for you anyway. You guys didn't see eye to eye on things because you're not on the same playing ground, okay? First of all, water signs and earth signs are, are more, they take on more of a feminine, whether you're male or female. They take, they, 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 their feminine sign is more prominent. Air signs and fire signs, their masculine side is more prominent. So you will clash more with a fire in a, or an air sign, okay? Just saying, just saying. So I feel like you were clashing, you were clashing, this is what this is, with, with somebody that wasn't well suited for you. And now it's time to open your heart again, okay? Open your heart, allow yourself to get back in your element and be more playful like you used to be okay so let's get some clarifiers here i see you guys um kind of starting to let go of fear i see patience i see compromise i see balance and harmony here bringing it back to your life maybe you're really focused on your job you know trying to protect your heart but you know maybe it's time to to open your heart and let some of that, the, the, well, this is almost like prison, you know, let, take yourself out of, your heart out of prison, you know, this is not wanting to be alone, right, you don't want to be alone, maybe, you know, somebody brought your self-esteem down, your self-worth, don't let them, you take control, you take control, of who you are you know there's an opportunity for love here cancer this could even be a reconciliation after you've been alone after you've been you know dealing with some negative thoughts but I think that there's an opportunity that you have been waiting for that is coming in and this could be new love or even a reconciliation Ah, there's some sort of, of death of a situation, ending spring, new beginnings. So perhaps this person from the past that has caused this, these negative feelings, they are, they're negative thoughts. They really are. That's over because here's the liberation. It's freedom from that. And then you have a new beginning. So I feel like as you release and you let go, you know, you've been single for, for those of you that are single, been single for quite some time, maybe even nine months. There's a new opportunity coming in. And this, like I said, it could be a reconciliation. There's a new beginning here for you, Cancer. There is. And it's, it's being given to you from above. It is. After you've been left out in the cold. So I think that there has been somebody that was left out in the cold. They had to go through some period of perhaps enlightenment, okay, healing and evolving because this temperance card is evolving. Somebody has been through a period of change and, and now there's a new beginning here. There is. There's a new beginning. There's a transition. You're transitioning from a negative space in your life to a more positive one. Like I said, it's the end of difficulty. I think there's a new offer that can lead to something um, stable and loving. But it's after, there's a fire sign in the mix that has caused some problems in your life. Whether this is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, but I feel like there's a, there's a fire sign that has held you back from a new beginning in love. And, it's, and this person could have held you back mentally, even if you've been separated for them. 
you know, I think that they may have made you close off your heart a little bit. And now it's, you know, maybe the ending has happened with them. And now you can open up to this new possibility of love. So I feel like there is probably a fire sign that brought you down. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but that could be sun, moon, or rising, okay? And But I feel as though this person has brought your confidence down, your self-esteem. They're a naysayer. This isn't somebody who, you know, misery loves company. So I feel like they, they brought you down. They they kept, your, kept you trapped emotionally for quite some time, but I think that that's ended because this is the death of that. And now there's an opportunity for new love. There is. You move on from this person. And because you move on, there is an opportunity. Okay, I think that that maybe if somebody offered you some false love at some time, you know, this isn't, okay. Okay, so let's just take a look at this. This is being left out in the cold, left out in the cold by somebody that didn't offer you. They offered you romance, but it was false. Okay, this is a false romance. And, but that's over now because the ending is after that, after being saying goodbye to whoever this is. There's a new beginning here with somebody else. That's what I think this is. That had to break down. It was a blessing in disguise. The universe was protecting you by not letting this work out. The universe always has a plan. And I think that they break this down so that you will move on to something much more peaceful and calm. There is protection here. So I feel like you guys were involved with somebody that had no follow through. They had no real love to offer, even though they said they did, because this is all words, no action. And I think this person held you back for some time, and you may be scared to open your heart again, but the time is now to open your heart again because you have an opportunity of love that could lead to something solid and stable. Allow it to happen. Allow it to happen. This moving on from this false foundation this this what it is what this is you were involved in a false situation that wasn't true with another person and you need to let that go <laughs> yes okay that that's too heavy to carry around and let it hold you back drop that baggage please drop it let go of the worry let go of the guilt let go of the guilt this person was a naysayer they were, and we're not going to flip this for all you flippers out there. No, this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is how they're, this is, how, this is for them. Somebody brought Cancer down because they were down. They were in negative, and like I said, misery loves company. And now it's time to let go of that worry, let go of that despair, let go of that anxiety, and allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and allow this new love to happen. Open your heart. There's a new opportunity for love with the five of cups reversed. There's the two of cups. That's what this is. There's a new prospect in love because you let go of this hurt. You let go of this situation where there was no happiness. There is cancer. You have a new opportunity of love here. And, and happiness is on the way because somebody steps outside of their ego you know, I don't, I don't need to be right. I don't need to fight with you. I don't need to be involved with your ego. I don't need to be involved with your misery. And when you decide that, new love comes. I think it's coming in real quick. Somebody's not happy, though. You were dealing with somebody that was an angry person. Somebody that wasn't a happy person. They don't want you to be happy. They're not happy. They don't want you to be happy. There was no wish fulfillment there. There was sneakiness, lies, cheating, betrayal. But now you're becoming alive again and you're letting go. Because you've taken the time to figure this out. This is introspection. This is coming up with a new plan. This is Jesus consciousness. Somebody has taken the time to go within to figure out what they really want. Become aware. And I do see that you have taken a time out. You have taken a time out, but I think that time out is over. If it's not, you do need to take a time out if you haven't. 
to figure out if you're still dealing with this person that's bringing you down. You really need to take a step back and figure out, is this what you want? Do you want to be involved in, in misery loves company? Is that what, I mean, because that's a wearing a mask. That's cheating yourself if you're still involved in this situation. But there's an opportunity for a new beginning in love. If you drop this baggage, this heavy burden, this heavy weight, it's heavy if you drop it. There's no compatibility with this person. There isn't. Too many, too many arguments, too much fighting, too much poor, poor, pitiful me. And I think that you've been enlightened and you're wide awake. And you've stayed and you've stuck around and you hung on to the situation thinking it would change. Hoping that, you know, you could tame the chaos. I feel as though it's time for you to take the next step and you know it's you know it's time to take the next step and break those chains. I think that you probably got involved in a situation perhaps based on lust, hoping that it would turn into love and it's not love. And now there's an opportunity for true love there is after you walk away. So I feel like there's an opportunity for commitment with someone new. I do. Could be a Taurus. I'm not sure. Taurus, sun, moon, rising. Could be any sign because anybody can take on these energies. But I feel as though, Cancer, you have an opportunity because you have, or you are going to, or you have walked away from somebody that you are not compatible with. So I feel like, who is this new person? Golden opportunity. Somebody that is very stable, solid, secure. Could be an earth sign. I don't know. You ha are being offered an opportunity from above for something solid, stable, and secure. But you have to truly leave behind this, the negative thoughts, the negative person, the person that was bringing you down. You have to take back control and you have to open your heart again. That's how people control, by closing off people's hearts. Don't let it happen. You're the boss of your life. Not this person. You're the boss. This is when you take control. You take the lead. And walk away from something that is chaotic. And when you do take the lead and walk away, you get the golden new opportunity from above. The real opportunity, the solid, long term. Receiving. Two plus seven equals nine. Nine's about closing a door. One door closes with a death card and another door opens. And that's what's happening here. Receiving. You are so loved. Your every need is witnessed and responded to by the universe. However, you sometimes forget this. You become swept up in the momentum of habitual consciousness and you forget to take a moment to stop, breathe, and be. In that moment, you can receive the love of the universe that is receiving you. It will nourish you with contentment and energy. You have not done this enough. So your soul is becoming parched and drying out. And that's why this card came out. Energy has been going out of you, but there is not enough coming back in. It is time to bring something back in for you, to receive and be received. You are being offered a chance for restoration now, to feel nourished, cared for, and loved. Accept it. You deserve it. You deserve it. And it says that. It says accept it. You deserve it. Do you know how much joy the universe gains from being able to give to you? When you delight in what you receive, when you openly embrace a gift, and you are being given a gift, I, it could be from an earth sign, I don't know. When you delight in what you receive, when you openly embrace a gift, you are so happy and are so happy with it, the universe is fully received by you. In this space, there is joyful communication or communion between you and life. Energy flows more freely and magic happens. 
When you demur saying you cannot accept that is too great, too great a gift or that you are not worthy, you are impeding that flow. Accept, 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 please accept. You are inhibiting the communion, the connection, and the playful interaction between you and the universe. Enough with the false modesty and guilt. You are a radiant sun in human clothing. An exquisite life experience in your birthright. Enjoy it. Soak it up. All of it. Including the restoration of sacred rest. And I can see that, you know, rest was needed or is needed. Allow yourself to switch off, step away, close the laptop, switch off the phone, and just be with yourself for a little while. You will return and be more efficient and effective. Rest now, play now, and work later. Forget your worries for a while, switch off, do something else. Let it all go, and it will flow. There's an opportunity for new love here. Let it all go, and it will flow. Talk to you later.